In the mid-1800s, Barton Stone and Alexander Campbell, who both had desired to see churches reject sectarianism and simply return to Bible Christianity, joined forces. Their movement produced Christian churches and churches of Christ. A century later, a group of these churches formed their own denominational structure called the Christian Church, Disciples of Christ. They don't require churches to affirm many specific theological beliefs and have come to have some of the most theologically liberal churches in America today. Church government is congregational and they practice is two sacraments. The first is baptism, only of believers and not infants, and only by immersion, though they won't baptize you again if you were baptized another way. The second sacrament is the Lord's Supper, which is normally weekly, open to all believers, and most often viewed as symbolic. Many churches are quite liturgical, with ministers wearing special clothes, using a lectionary, and following a church calendar. On questions like ordination of women and being LGBT open and affirming, every church decides for themselves, but the vast majority of churches do allow for women's ordination, and the Disciples are one of the most LGBT affirming denominations in the U.S. They have also consistently supported legalized abortion. Because the congregations are autonomous, while most affirm many of what would be considered basic Protestant teachings, some teach differently. Not all churches affirm a literal hell, for example, or that Christ died as an atonement for sin. In recent decades, the church has experienced a large decline in membership, falling from 1.9 million members in 1965 to about 350,000 today. Disciples of Christ were part of a group which separated from the Churches of Christ around 1906. Before that, they were one movement. Click over to the next video for a two-minute discussion of Churches of Christ. Or, if you want to watch a video about the split between these two groups, click here.